In 2005, while filming a documentary television show in Woonsocket, Rhode Island, the filmmakers discover two homeless alcoholics living in the woods. Oh my God, you can't live like this. Missing from their families for years. You miss them, you miss them. What we can do is give you a chance. Their offer of assistance sets in motion a profound series of events that test the faith of everyone involved. It blew my mind, I said, somebody's playing a joke. I'm out of here. You want to die? I'm going to detox. I'm telling you, because I love you. You get a choice right now. I'm going to help you find me. What happens next reveals the power of a simple helping hand extended to two men, seemingly beyond any hope of redemption. This shit don't happen. It's like something from God, you know? What's the odds of somebody walking up to you? There is hope for all of you guys that are dealing with some type of addiction or something that's going on in your lives. And mock his testimony to that. I said, Lord, just put one person in his life who's going to walk beside him. You have no idea what my life is like. What I feel inside. What the hell made you guys do this? I, I couldn't watch him kill himself. We're going to be a family when we get out? Yeah, that's why we're here. I didn't think I had no more chances. Lost in Moonsocket's gritty, real-life story of love, faith, and forgiveness is a testimonial to saving the world, one life at a time. I thought the film was a great testament to uh, recovery and the redeeming qualities of humanity. When people get to know one another as individuals, that anything's possible. I've always believed that power of one, one person can touch somebody else and make, be an inspiration for others. And that's what I really got out of the movie. It takes one little first step. It really inspired me, it touched me. I probably am a little too choked up to say much more about it. Uh, the movie is uh, mind-blowing powerful.